Hello Capricorn! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Orion's Animal Tarot. And then you got Omni Sun at the bottom. Omni, Omni Sun, Omni Sun. I always call it Omni. I don't know what my issue is with that. Uh, but if you want to find it, go to rockpoolpublishing.com. You'll find it. I believe, I haven't checked the website, but there's a card in here that says there's a free online deck. Like you could download a deck, I think. I think, I don't know if that's still valid, I don't know how old this is, but if you want to check it out, feel free. Supportive Oracle Cards, Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra Ann Taylor. Uh, the websites for Sandra are Hay House websites. Here they are. If you want to check them out, feel free. There's also a Hay House radio on the back here with Sandra. Of course, feel free to freeze frame if you need to, if you want that information. There's also a picture of Sandra there. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Good, good, good. Great, great, great. What do we have for Cap? Ricorn. Cap a Ricorn. What is this? What is this gonna? Okay. There's a card that fell out while I was shuffling, and I'm I'm gonna flip it right now. The Empress coming in. Um, I feel like there's something good here coming towards you. Do you like it? Do you want it? So, like, an offer is an offer, right? If you don't want it, who cares, right? Um, so, just because there's an offer doesn't mean you're going to take it. The Magician is coming in. I got, like, a couple cards here. Okay, somebody... There's an offer coming in. There's a good offer. But why is that card there? You got... The Knight of Pentacles with Envy here. What's that? That's kind of throwing me off. What's the Envy about? What are we talking about with the Envy? Because the, the Pentacles, that works for Capricorn. But is it like, I've already put in the work? Six of Cups. There's people involved in this situation already that you're not a fan of. Okay. Um... <laughs> um so there's an offer coming to you. The offer is good, but there's some people connected to it that you're like, I don't, I don't, uh. um, no. There's some of these people you don't really care for, but they're already a part of the situation. So I don't think you have the ability to realign who's a part of it and who's not. But that seems to be a point of contention. How do we get around it? Five of Pentacles, yeah. Some people, I feel like it's an offer. It's a good offer. You can make this go far, but it's kind of like I don't know if I don't fit in with everybody. And there's certain people I don't even want to fit in with. There's a difference between not fitting in and not wanting to fit in. And I feel like there's kind of a mix of both here. Kind of like I don't fit in with these type of people, but I don't really want to either. It's kind of like that. Um, there's a few people like that here, but like. Is, is that going to keep me from getting what I want? I don't know. It depends how how you value the situation. We have to get past this block. This is going to be... I feel like I've done this before with the Capricorn read. Make your pro-con list. Um, I can understand if you take like a week to make your decision, but try not to take more than a week. Make your pro-con list. If you don't want this, great then let's open the door for something better. If you do want it, then do it. But, like, I feel like if we hang out too long, it's like sitting in the, in the lobby too long. It's kind of like you sit there so long, and it's like you're wasting your time just sitting there waiting and thinking and thinking. If you don't want to be there, then leave. Go to, go to something better. Get something. But don't, like, it's wasting time just to sit there and mull it over too long. How do we get past this block? I feel like if you do a pro cons list, you'll know. What if for like pro cons like like where do I see myself in a month, five months in a year? So if I say yes to this in a month, what do I see I got from this? In five months, what did I get from this? A year from now, am I gonna look back and be like, I'm glad I did it, or I'm gonna be like, well, why did I even bother? Um, with what I'm seeing in front of me, what's most likely? How do we get past this? Pentacle, ten of pentacles, and the wheel. The wheel. Um, 
I don't, I don't. I really don't think Capricorn's a fan of the wheel. <laughs> um, you want to like put your energy into something that you know is going to pay off. You're not looking to take a gamble. Um, if it pays off, how good is it? So like, all right. If I get so, I feel like if this is like a short term job, I don't know why I'm saying short term, but if it's a short term job. Do I make enough money that at the end of it, it was worth my time? Or do I look back on it kind of like all that money, but it wasn't worth it due to the aggravation I had to put up with? Like, am I going to look back and be like, well, at least I have the money and it didn't last long enough for me to worry about? Or do I look back on it like it was too aggravating, it wasn't worth the money I got for it because of the aggravation? We have to decide. I feel like that's the need. Like, we don't have to do anything. I know that. But... It's kind of like we need to decide so that you don't waste time. Like if this if this situation isn't for you, if you shut it down, other things can be in front of you. You can get other opportunities that you can decide if they're worth it or not. Um, I feel like I, I really I really feel like if you give yourself a week, do a pro cons list, and then just choose a direction. Because I feel like for a lot of you, if you haven't gone forward with this in a week, you're probably not going to. And then you've just kind of wasted time just hanging out here considering it. And things have passed you by that might have been better for you. So I really feel like for most of you, if you don't move forward in a week, you're probably not going to. Um, although in the other side of the, on the other side of the coin here, after a week, if you're kind of like, I kind of would like to, you probably will at some point. Like, don't, don't drag yourself through this. Um, I still feel like the majority of you are going to pass this up, but however that works out for you, take it with a grain of salt. Um, it's a good offer. I do feel like this is a good offer, but there's a lot of fire coming in with it. There's some restriction and there's some fire, restriction that you're not a fan of, um, and there's a lot of fire, a lot of fire energy going on here. It's not really the most compatible with... Um, Capricorn, there's something about this that is not long term. It feels, it definitely feels short term, which seems to make you wonder if you even want to be a part of it. But the thing is, some short term things can add into long term benefits. So it depends what you're going to learn from the situation. It depends how much money you're com you could possibly make from the situation. If you could take what you get gain from this situation and apply it later where you want it to be, it may be worth it for you. I feel like that might be a big piece of this pro con. And looking at like a month out, five months out, a year out. A year from now, can I look back and be like, okay, this helped me get closer to where I actually wanted to be. What it was is what it was, but it got me closer where I wanted to be. Okay, cool. So it's kind of like for me when I was younger, working at certain financial institutions. I was like, I don't really know if I want to work here. But I, for example, got a, a job in a, a certain department about dealing with rates and how that stuff worked. I needed that information. It really did help me. I didn't really care for the job, but I did really benefit from the information I learned. So long term, I'm like, you know what? I'm glad I did it because I understand rates and stuff like that a lot better now than I did before. And it really has paid off in my life. So I mean, for me, I was like, okay, that was actually good. Didn't really want to do it, but I'm glad I did do it because it serves me. It still serves me, quite frankly. Um, I think this is funny that I'm going to say this. I feel like most of you are going to pass this up, but I also feel like for most of you, this would be a very beneficial beneficial thing to take. You got to do what you you want. It's your business. Like you know what I mean. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me what you choose. Obviously, it's a general read. But I'm feeling for a lot of you, it would be worth doing. It's a really good offer. It's going to have some type of aggravation to it. I keep getting this aggravation. The chariot is a card that's very opposing. It's like the it talks about cancer. It can be a very opposing energy. Um, there's definitely going to be aggravation through this situation. It's about the long term benefits, and I feel like when you see it that way, that makes a big difference, a huge difference. If I'm going to look back and be like, "All right, I'm glad I did it. It really wasn't my cup of tea, but I'm glad I did it." Um, I feel like this, this is a good. There's a good energy here. Something is good for you. It's. I feel like it's also divinely inspired that this opportunity could have long-term benefits that you're not seeing right now that you might see later. So it might be more worth the aggravation than you think, but it may not show its true benefit right away. It may show more of its true benefit down the road, much farther down the road. Um, 
Yeah, I keep getting that. They're pulling this back. Um, this is a situation that has a lot more to give than you can tell until you're actually knee deep in it. And once you're knee deep in it, you can see a lot more of the benefits that you would get from it. It's hard to see it until you're actually in it, until you've actually gotten into the opportunity and took a hold of it and decided to be a part of it. Because if you're going to be a part of it, you're going to be a part of it. Like you're going to do what you need to do. You're not showing up for fun. You're showing up to get something done, and you're going to do that. And when you do that, you'll see more of the true benefit this situation has to offer. Yeah, there's some, it's good. It's, it's just, I don't know, it's a weird situation in my opinion. Is there anything else with this? I do feel like it's like the universe pulling you forward towards it. Um, I, I kind of get like, let it go. You're going to make your decision. I feel like at this point, even at this point in the video, I feel like you're already headed where you're going to head. So maybe this video helped move you forward to where you need to go, what's ever right for you. But I feel like whatever decision you need to make, it feels like you're already kind of headed that direction. I feel like they're just saying it's like, make your decision so that like you can either do it or move on from it. So something else, if this isn't for you, all right, let's see if something else can come in, that type of thing. All right, I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below with the same email. Thanks again for watching, and have a great day.